What's up SAS Masters, my name is George and today we're going to check out Artboard Studio. This one is a really cool image editor. This one is not your typical image editor where you put some images, some text and it looks really, I don't know, just plain, right? This one is based on mockups. What does that mean? Well, it has a stock library of, for example, wine bottles, cups, plates, um, bags and all that stuff and you can add the logo to it. But it's not just going to add the logo, it's going to actually make it look like it's a real product that has the actual logo inside of it. So if it's round, for example, a cup, it'll wrap your logo around it. So that's what makes Artboard Studio much more different than other type of deals and image editors. Now, another thing that's really cool about Artboard Studio is that you can actually animate. And in that sense also, it's not your typical image animator because it comes based on a timeline and you can add some animation based on the timeline. And well, it's pretty cool. It's, it's actually really, really cool. And I'll show you that in this video. Now, heads up, there's a deal going on. So check out that link in the description. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out these deals when they just come out. So let's jump over to my dashboard and check out Arbor Studio right now. All right, guys, this is our board studio site. And if you guys want to grab the deal that's going on right now, that link will be in the description. So grab it before it's gone. Now, if you guys want to check out the free trial, go ahead, sign up and check out the free trial so you can actually see that it's awesome. So it's not just hearing it from me, but you actually see it for yourself that it's pretty good before you grab the deal. OK, let's jump over to my dashboard and we can see our previous um, designs right here or we can put them in folders. But we're going into the cool stuff. So let's go into this little blue button right here that says start with template. So let's click on that one. And the first thing that we're going to see right here, let me click start right here. It's digital mockups. So in digital mockups, we can select digital mockups, right? So that's um, laptops, phones, um, tablets, and everything that has to do with digital. Now, what's the so cool about our board studio? Well, let's just take, for example, these phones that we have right here. What we can do is that we can actually put our own image inside of that phone. And it, when we put in that image, it's not going to look flat and it's not going to look ugly because the image is going to be transformed into 3D. So in this case, it has a certain degree in that phone. So that image is going to twist in a certain way so it looks the right way. And it's going to work that way with shadows, with textures, with lighting and the axis of that mockup. So that's really cool. We can also see print, mo oh, print mockups right here. These are different type of mockups. So you can see they're like physical products, which I really love. We got apparel mockups. So we got t-shirts, we got bags, we got hats, and we could change what's inside of here. So for example, we got this t-shirt, we could change what's inside of the t-shirt and we can also get rid of the elements or add more elements to it. So in this case, we got sunglasses, watches, and a wallet for those elements. We got packaging mockups. So this means like wine bottles, cups, um, bags, all that good stuff. Social media templates would be like your traditional type of digital um, images. So in this case, we got like promotional images, but that's not what really like motivates me. What motivates me is the mockups. So let's go into print mockups and we can select something like this right here. OK, this one looks nice. And let me show you really quickly what you're seeing right here. So this is the actual editor. On the left, we have the information of the things with it we can add. For example, we have the items available right here. So we got print items, we got envelopes, we got magazines and stuff like that. We can go back. We have electronics, so we can add electronics into this. And we got more, right? We're not gonna, we're not gonna go into everything because it'll take too much time. We can also add textures. So right, so right here, we got mix, wood, fabric, stone, and paper. For example, fabric. These are the fabric ones front view and top view. So depending on what you want to right there, we got the marketplace. We can add those elements. We have add stock photos. We can add some insert text. So we have these really nice looking text right here, or we can add plain text in this by clicking right there. We can add shapes, basic shapes. We have the filters. We have your private assets. So this is what you add right here. In this case, I have added my logo and we're going to add that into this bottle right now. Default template. So this is what the elements are of this template and we have the branding components. OK, so what happens when I click on something on the right side? We can see that we have layers. So layers means that if I put something on top, it's going to be on top of this one. So, for example, we have this bottle that's on top of everything, right? So mostly everything. But what happens if I put it behind this? It goes behind what, what was there, right? So that is a layer. It's that way. 
okay? And in this place where layers, we have these little icons which gives you information. So this one has no icon, so there's nothing to it, right? Just the image and you got basic settings here on the bottom like positions and all that good stuff. But this one like the bottle has a different icon where we can actually replace what's inside of that bottle. So for example, if I double click on this bottle, it's gonna open up those settings for that bottle. Now, you can edit it right here and then go back and check it out because it opened up a brand new tab. So we got tabs, but I can drag this down here and I can view it inside of here. So let me make this smaller, okay? And let me close that menu on the left and let me put this right there. And what I'm doing right here, I can actually view it on the right. So if I click delete, it's gonna get rid of it. It's plain and simple as that. Now, let me add one of my logos right here. So I'm gonna drag it inside of here. And you can see it added it to this bottle right here. And it wrapped around it automatically. So I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to tweak nothing, right? And I can make this a little bit smaller. Oh, I'm stretching that. Let me make it smaller. And put it in the center and there's my logo. If I put it to the right, check how it goes with the flow of that bottle. That's what's really awesome about this. I can add some text to it if I want. I can make it look fancier. Let's close this one right here. And we have more settings here on the right for this, right? So any element that you click gives you options on the right. There's also some information right here that we can click on it and we can, for example, remove that or we can change it. Oh, didn't get rid of it. Let's go over here. Should have got rid of that. Hold on. Let me command Z. Note card mockup. Which, is it that? Yeah, should be there. So let me move it to the right. Okay, so now it, it replaced it. Let me get rid of it. Okay, there we go. So it got rid of it right there. Now you can add more elements right here if you want. So for example, we can click on this and we can click on uh, decorative. So right there. And we have two types of views. So we got top view and front view. So it's different type of elements depending on how you're working with that image, right? So for example, in this case, we're looking at a top view. So we want to view assets that are on the top view. So I'll add this right here. I just clicked on it. For that, okay, let's close that menu right there. And I'll add it this, just to give it a little bit more taste. And I'll bring it to the back. So in my layer section, I'm bringing it to the back, but not as behind as going as the board, right? So the board would be the last from the background. So we got the background and then we got the board. But you can see it works with the shadows. Did you see that the shadows right here are not as, let me go up here and bring it to the top. There's lighting, but if I bring it back, it goes with the shadow of that bottle. So everything has to do with the mock-up so it looks realistic. So that's what's really cool about this. Now the other, or other part I told you about is the animation part. We can animate this right here if we want to. So we can convert this into a plain image into a short video. So by doing that, I can click on this animation right here and it open up the timeline on the bottom. So let's just say I wanted to bring this bottle inside of here and I can add a start point. So I'll do that right there. So this is my playhead and it says zero seconds, right? So if I move it, oh, we'll start from zero, right? So from zero, we're gonna move away. So it's gonna be out of the picture and let me make it a little bit bigger. Out of the picture there. And then we're gonna move our plate head to, I don't know, one second. Uh, go back, there's one second, all right? So after one second, I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay, that's something you can't do on, any, on other image editors. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna play this for you. Let me click play. And it animated. So from big, it went to small and where I wanted to place it. So there's like two types of animations there that I've created. But if I want to go more into depth with this, I can click on my playhead right, no, not on the playhead, on the timeline, this little arrow right here. And there's position X, Y, and the scale. So there's two animations going on right here. And I could change a type of animation that I want to do if I wanted to jump in and the bounce in, which doesn't look good. But I could do easy in, I can do circ, I could do other things, and I can animate each one of these depending on what I want. Or I can add more animation to it. So for example, if I wanna get rid of it after this, well, I go and I move this further. So it created a second animation. So let me click that play for you, jump in, and then it jumped out. 
because that's what I created, right? I can also add a delay so it does it after so many seconds. And that's really cool that we have this. So for example, on Final Cut Pro, which is a really professional video editor, you have to add that in the timeline to make all those adjustments. And right here, it's super simple and super fast to do it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an animated template so you see what they got available. So let's go into my templates right here. And if you just view from right here, digital uh, mockups, some of these images right here, templates, have a little purple banner. This is animated. That means this is an animated template. If I go into print mockups, we will also see some of these. Okay, here's one of them. If I hover over it, it should move. See how that's moving? Let me click on that. And let's just say that's what we want, right? It looks really cool because it's not just a static image. It's actually moving. So if I click play, we're going to see how this is actually moving. See that right there? It's got some 3D elements. We got the card. We can edit that card. So if you want to add, like I said before, we can replace. We can add our own logo right there. And I will do that right now. So let's add a logo to my card. Let's make that smaller. Add my logo. Let's go back into my mock-up. So we that to should render. Hmm. Wonder why that didn't update. So it's doing it again. Let me close that again. Let me click on it. Looks like it didn't add the logo correctly. Let me do that and put it there. Wait for that. Rendered. Okay, there's the logo now. And it made it a little bit darker because it has to go with the scene. Like I said before, it goes with the whole thing. And here's the animation on the bottom. We can edit these animations if we want. Let me close that. Again, we can remove this. Like right now, it's linear, linear. We got is ease in, out, back, ease in, out, back again. And you can remove that. You could change the animation and do all that cool stuff. So that's what's really cool about this. Now, if you're done with everything you're doing, I'll click away from all the projects and we can export our project by animation or export this way. So for example, PNG, JPEG, we got all those options. We can export as PSD, PSD if you wanna use it in Photoshop with the layers and all that stuff. We wanna export this one. We can do it that way and save it. Oh, let me go back. It's rendering, let's go back. I wanna do it that way. We can also share it. So for example, if we wanna share this as a public link, that's also available or invite by email. There's a lot of way that you can work for this and it's been really developing along. Um, this has been added, for example, the animation feature has been added up. So guys, grab this deal. It's a really good deal because you could do a lot with it. I haven't seen other deals do these type of, of mockups and animation on the on digital, like right here on the web. You could do this on Photoshop and take many hours and, and a lot of money buying these assets that you can edit later, but it takes a lot of time and money to create those. Well guys, that is Artboard Studio. That's probably just the basic all around way, like the overview, but you can see there, it's, it's amazing. It's really good. Well guys, if you guys wanna grab the deal that's going on, check out that link in the description. My name's George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.